you notice all these retro systems are coming out, or the Retron 5, have you heard of this thing? I think thinkgeek.com is the only one that has it in Amazon. Amazon's got it for 190 ThinkGeek has it for 140 It plays, uh, well, let me see. <coughs> I heard about this thing before. It's Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Super Famicom, Super NES, Genesis. It plays a bunch of old system games. Um, they want it to have 100% compatibility. So if you had a cartridge, whether it was NTSF or PAL, it would work if it was, you know, you know, all different region codes and stuff like that. It would work. It would just work. Because there's a lot of, like, independent Atari games out there. And there's a lot of um, homebrewed NES games and stuff like that. So it's kind of neat. And they're trying to make it work with every game out there. So that's, that's pretty cool. But none of them will do the Sega Master System. That was, like, my favorite console. That and Genesis and Dreamcast. I really like Sega Systems. I think they made phenomenal system. Saturn's the only system I didn't get because I heard it was so bad. Too bad. That is also Nintendo's <clears throat> problem, I think, at this point, too. Excuse me, I'm stuttering. I believe... Oh, my microphone's way the hell over here. Sorry, guys. Why don't you say something? You've been listening all that time and nobody said anything? Because we're not live. I'd like to do a live show. I'd have to do a Google Hangout, I think. I don't think I can do a live one of them. Well, I can try it. I'm sure there's a way. Oh, and no day would be complete without Dr. Carl Mitchin on the mic. Say hi, Dr. Carl. Say it. Oh, he's not going to say it tonight. What a jerk. Anywho, I don't got a lot tonight. I, I just thought about, and I found, this is from personal experience. <clears throat> Lately, I may see like, like a mild-mannered individual but th there are times where like anger gets the best of me things just build up like something's dirty the dogs are barking to go out the kids are asking for milk i'm trying to cook their breakfast like and and like do all the stuff plus feed the pets take the pets out like literally from like getting up until 10 o'clock there's no stop then sometimes i'll go out to get gross i'm not gonna complain to you guys <laughs> my point of this is it's so quick to anger, and it's so hard to dig yourself out of it. <clears throat> I don't know if this happens for you, too, but it does for me. Like, um, tonight, I came home. The boys had a, well, Grayson had a baseball game tonight. So they were eating. So I was like, I was already home late because there's a customer that just won't leave. They come, like, three or four times a year when I'm there. And they just stay and stay and stay and stay. And you just cannot convince them that it's time to leave. <laughs> you have to shut the lights off or something. Anywho, they did leave tonight. But, like, I'm so quick to get angry. Like, when everything's going wrong. And I hate that. And it's so hard to dig out of it. But when you do dig out of it, you're, you're almost, like, ready to smack yourself for being such an ass to yourself and to the people around you. <clears throat> I never mean to be that way, but it happens a lot. <laughs> I mean, not a lot. I don't want to say it's excessive or anything like that, but it's so much easier to just stay happy. But I think you just have a breaking point. I think everyone has a breaking point where they just can't take so much and, and all of a sudden, you know, they're snapping at people or whatever. Um, I don't know. I hate being that way, but it just happens sometimes. And it's so quick to dig yourself. I mean, it's so hard to dig yourself out of that. I think personally, I think personally, I need a Retron 5. I think I can convince them to donate one to review purposes for the Road to 40. Probably not. Somebody should contact them for me because I'm lazy. <laughs> Say, hey, this guy wants to review your stuff. You should send him some free stuff. That'd be awesome, because I don't have $140. If they See, now, why don't they carry these at stores? Because if they had it at like, GameStop, I could bring in some games to trade or an old system or something and swap it and get this. And I could, I've got literally just cartridges, like, I mean, nowhere near most people's collections. This is just a very small starter collection. I might have 50 or 60 games between NES, SNES, Genesis, you know, you know what I mean. You know what I'm going with be fun to do like a uh, twitch with that like play some of that on here and record it i don't know 
That'd be, I think it'd be kind of fun. Be a change of pace. I keep looking at these like top 100 lists, and they're all stupid. <laughs> like I've talked about most of these. You know what I mean? Like uh, favorite movie of all time. Go back and watch the top 20 movies. I'm no, I don't know if it's exactly the same as it was then now, but probably, most likely. I believe Lebowski and Empire Strikes Back are one and two. Um, that's just obvious. <laughs> Uh, favorite book of all time. I've read a lot of books. Not a lot of smart books, <laughs> but a lot of fiction. I like fiction. I I prefer to read to be entertained, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Sure, it's good to educate yourself and continue to educate yourself, and I plan on continuing. But when I read, I just really prefer, you know, I'd love to take some classes or, or get some class one way or the other. Right, Dr. Carl Mitchin? That's right, Jason. See, there he is. <laughs> mm. I wish I could take a month off of work. I don't make a lot for a month. But enough that I need it. So that I could draw this whole project. And I want to write for Greg Autry. I've got some ideas that I want to do for his... Oh, you knew it was Greg Autry, I think. If you know who Greg Autry is. If you don't... He had a good idea. I haven't not said anything about it. But I've got some ideas that I want to write. And trying to find time. Today was one of those days. One of those days that start to finish, I didn't stop. Like, the whole day. I kid you not. Like, I'm not lying. I'm not, I'm not like, I didn't have a, more than maybe 20 minutes to sit down. And that was, I was sitting with Grayson while he was doing homeschool. And obviously, I'm teaching at that time. Um, but I also try to draw a little bit at the time too. If he's got like a writing assignment, I let him write and I'll draw. And then when he's done, he can just show it to me. And then I've got a drawing done and he's got his page done and we go over it and so on and so forth. Well, I mean, that's just the day. It's like I get up, cook them breakfast, get their drinks. Then I feed Toby. Then I feed Poe and Chewy. Uh, well, we can just go on and on. I'm not going to go on and on because <laughs> that's, not positive and I'm trying to be positive because positive is the way she wants me it takes a lot to make me cry did you ever feel like sharing lonely because in a way it gets me by all right that's uh radio friendly I don't know I think I've played that on here if you want to hear it go back and check it out uh I need to do another, another song jeez man it's not feeling right today well today my sinuses have been weird, and I keep having to clear my throat, and just, well, <laughs> enough of my whining and pissing. Hey, I'm really angry. Uh, Greg Miller reviewed the pumpkin spice Oreos. I should put a link. If I remember, it'll be at 8 minutes and 10 seconds or whatever it was. Um, it is really funny. If you've watched his stuff before, he's just, he's funny, but this was just, he just loses it at the end. And it's pretty funny, though, the way uh, he, it made me laugh like a motherfucker. You can subscribe to them now on Patreon, too. I was thinking about doing that. Like, not like you have to do it, but, like, eventually maybe doing one of those. Because you can do Patreon hangouts and stuff like that. And, I don't know, be kind of something fun and interesting. I mean, I could do, like, 50 cents a month, a dollar a month. And not, not even charge people. Like, you can still get the content for free, but maybe do it a day early or two days early. I don't know. I don't know. That's stupid, I know. I'm stupid. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully I remember to put that link up because it's funny. If not, just look up Greg Miller. Uh, kind of funny is his channel now. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <coughs> yeah, that's all I got. Uh, wish I, I wish I had a good story to tell or something like that. I apologize. This is a bummer. Bummer, dude. <sighs> well, you guys have a great night. Thank you for always coming back. Um... I'll catch you guys tomorrow with a better one, I promise. And uh, don't forget to make somebody smile tomorrow. Make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today tomorrow. And let's make the world spin happier together. Singing and dancing in the rain, my brothers and sisters. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Seriously. And I'll see you guys uh, a little further on down the road to 40. I need to do an outro theme. Just something real quick like that. If you didn't know, I did write the intro theme, but it's actually recorded from a band a while back i don't know if the whole song's on here or not i don't think i've played it maybe i'll play that tomorrow night maybe i'll play it tonight who knows 
See you tomorrow night or later or tomorrow. Take care.